Hey guys, today's DIY I'm really excited about because I really needed a jewelry tree that could hang stuff like my watches. So it needs to be a little bit more sturdy than your average little jewelry tree. It's a hanging jewelry tree that's made out of branches, but it can also double as just art if you don't want to hang jewelry on it's it. It's actually so true. I was mm -hmm. like, oh, mm -hmm. So you just need to go on a little hunt in your local forest for some branches, preferably dead ones, not only because you shouldn't harm trees, but because then the bark is really easy to peel off because it's dead and um, it'll leave a really nice smooth underneath. Yeah, this is the perfect time of year to be doing it because it is fall and those trees are. So yeah, go on a little hike and pick out branches about like this long in length. And the really important thing is to make sure they have little twigs Little nubbies coming off the side because that's what you'll be hanging your jewelry on. If you need to saw your branches to be more reasonable size, go ahead and use a little handsaw. Get help if you need to get help. Yeah, we laid it out like put down newspaper or something because it's gonna get a little messy. And then we just kind of peeled off the bark. So once you peeled off the bark, if you think it needs to be smoothed even more, we just took some sandpaper and went on the sides of the uh, branches. But be careful again to not break off the little twigs because those are very important. So once you have your twigs all sanded and smooth and barkless and ready to go, <laughs> uh, you are good to paint them in whatever color you want. We went with a white and like copper rose gold color combo. Mm -hmm. Genius, Becky thought of this. We were just, I was just gonna do white. <laughs> I was like, we should dip it in metallic. Yeah. Ding. So yeah, take them outside and give them a coat in white. And then if you want, you can go ahead and tape off a sharp line with some paper and tape and then do one end in like a metallic. Yeah, or a turquoise or anything or do it all in color. Whatever, man. Make it match your room, right? Do it. Do it. <laughs> and after the branches are dry, just peel off the paper and the tape and you'll have your nice clean done branch. Mm -hmm. So to hang these, we used fishing line and a little, what are they called? They look something like this. Uh, you can get them at Home Depot or any hardware store, to be honest. They're just literally screw-in hooks. So we used those in the ceiling. We spray painted them white just so they kind of blended in. We did that, yes, yeah, so they would blend in. And we really wanted to make the branches seem like they're kind of just hanging there in midair. But if you want it to be more obvious, you could use like twine or something. Um, yeah. Whatever you want to hang it with, go for it. Up to you. We marked off kind of in our ceiling where we wanted the hooks to go or where we wanted the branches to hang. We did it in like a triangle formation, but again, it's up to you. You can have them all in a straight line or whatever you want. Or you can hang them this way. Horizontal. Horizontally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Completely up to you. So once you have the marks, you can go ahead and put the screws into your ceiling. They're really tiny solution to damage your ceiling too much. Yeah. Or, you know, if you live in a dorm or if your parents are like, no, 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 don't drill in your ceiling. <laughs> you can just use like those peel and stick hooks. It won't it won't be like as small on your ceiling. You're, it's gonna be a little But it won't be putting holes in your ceiling as well. So. Yeah. There's you. there's options, so just work it if you can't. So after you have your hooks ready to screw into the wall and you have your done completed branches. You're going to take some fishing wire and you're just gonna cut out more than you need, like double more than you need um, from your ceiling height. And then you're going to take a hot glue gun and we put a little bead of glue and wrap the fishing wire around the top of the branch a couple times and then tied it off with a couple of knots. You can then go ahead and string your long fishing wire through the hooks in your ceiling. And what we did was we took the uh, other side of the fishing wire and taped it to the wall temporarily so we can kind of pull and adjust the hanging heights to yeah. get it exactly the way we wanted it. Yeah, because you kind of want it in like a cluster of three with like one high, one medium, one low. So <laughs> once you have it exactly the way you want it, you can go ahead and go up to your hooks and just tie them off in a knot. Yeah. And then of course just cut the extra fishing wire. And my favorite part about this is DIY is that most jewelry trees you can't hang like your watches on, your sunglasses, and like all these other accessories mm -hmm. that are a little bit thicker and chunkier. So this one, if you get a thick enough branch, you can hang your watches on it and you can hang your sunglasses on it. And then the little thin knobs, you can hang like your rings or your necklaces. And especially like me, instead of just throwing all your jewelry kind of in a pile in the corner of your room, this kind of makes your jewelry like art and you can hang it. Yeah. It's really pretty. Some of these pieces you spend a lot of money on, so why not show it off? Sure. All right, thanks so much for watching guys. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>